When dealing with multiple suspects, a charge must be laid in order to close the case. Failing one interrogation will leave you with a single suspect. Okay. Uh, I think Ryan is our man. But procedure says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Varley. I don't know if Ryan's it, though. That's I mean, the where the other, where's the other interrogation walk. room? Is it this way? This I don't know. Is it right here? I wanna make where is it? Oh, here it is. Alright, bud. You got some explaining to do. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Well, apparently you got some issues with him. Work at the Sawyer residence. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer. Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm, I'm flat out on new installations. Wait a minute. I think you're... I think you're... yanking my chain here. Um... Wait a minute. Stefan... Fan We're talking about the Sawyer family, though. Heater service by Varley. Sawyer family heater destroyed after being serviced by Reginald Varley. Well, he serviced it. He wait a minute. No, he serviced it, and he just said he does installation. So you're a liar. You're a big fat liar. You're not even looking at me. Why are you lying to me, Varley? Eh. If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not. <laughs> How can you prove that I was? I just, I just did it. I just did it right here. You service did right here, buddy. Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Yeah. Okay. You got me there. Yeah, you're right. I sure did. Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweep. I think he played him, though. Because he still wouldn't sell. Uh-oh. All right, well, let's talk a little bit more about the Suburban Redevelopment Redevelopment Fund because they seem like not good characters. Word is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. <laughs> <laughs> Cole's just like, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> sure. All right, but Matthew Ryan's kind of rude. Matthew Ryan kind of ratted you out. Gas filter fitter Matthew Ryan testifies to Varley conspiring with the Suburban Relative Fund. So, boom. How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting the time. Well, then how come Matthew Ryan told me something otherwise, huh? 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 Ryan says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. I'll testify in court. Suburban, they got real time pressure on getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took their money, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. Yes, it is, man. Conspiracy. Puta, puta, puta in. <laughs> what would reversing the diaphragm of an Insta Heat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? No. No, I'm not exactly out of my mind. But you're not really giving me eye contact now, are you? I'm just gonna check my notes real quick before I really kind of like give you like a... Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Liar! Yeah, that's I don't right. believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Huh? Dude, the valve that came from the place that you serviced was backwards. Huh? You're saying I'm some uh -oh. kind of psycho for hire? It's not true. Whoops, that was an accident. Oh my god, what should I do? What should I do? I can't remember which one's it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave right now. We're and then I'm gonna, like... I don't know. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. 
charge a suspect to close the case. Well, let's talk to the other one, because I just like, I just get really nervous about this kind of thing. I just like, I don't know what to do. Even his I thought that was this. Where's the other interrogation room, bro? There's that one. And where's the other one? Uh, oh, it's right here. Oh, Amanda! 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 What's this Speak to my lawyer. I got nothing more to say. Was so not what one next? Of the I I Let's lay a charge at one of these guys and put this to bed. I don't know which one it is. I really, 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 really don't. You know what? I'm gonna... Eeny, meeny, miny, moe it. Are you I feel like it's the other guy, though, because, like, the, the, the anarchist guy kind of has a reason for wanting to be an anarchist, I guess, if that makes sense. Ugh. Yeah, Oh! Charge. I'll charge you. Whatever. <laughs> Reginald Barley, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. I'm no cold blooded criminal. I could never bring up a whole family in their home. No. Did I do it right? I'm seriously, like, I can't remember which one. How is it? No, just keep your mouth shut and listen to me for a second. How is it you can bring no less than three suspects into my station, conduct extensive interviews, sift through mountains of evidence with Lynch and Pinker, and still manage to charge the wrong fucking guy? I'm sorry! I took a chance on you, Phelps. People said I was crazy, and you made me look like a jerk. I'm sorry. You may not be much of an arson investigator, but I hear you're merciless on the beat. Get going. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it wrong. Oh no. I did it wrong. Oh no. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm sorry. It wouldn't. I don't understand that one. I've always kind of like that one's always been a little iffy to me. I never really got that case. I feel like a doof. I just, I just I do. I'm not even paying attention to this cutscene. That's how much I feel like a doof. I feel like a dumb. Oh no! Hey, look! It's a house fire! Is that what we've been talking about this whole time? House fires? That's uh, pretty awful, actually. Why are you guys doing this? Why, uh, why? Why are you guys doing this? Huh? You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. Tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Well, you just like lighting fires, Cole. I think that's just it. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. He's just the awkward person that no one wants anything to do with. That's okay. We all have that person. <laughs> we all have that person. I want to keep recording because I feel like a chump. <laughs> and I just like... I just I feel like a chump. I don't want to feel like a jump. I walk in Elysian fields. Hmm. Elysian. Sounds familiar. But what is this? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I'm a weirdo. Wow. This is delving into, um, creepy, scary movie territory. House fire. <laughs> Bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is 
650 North Hobart. Okay, bye. I'm sorry I upset you earlier. I just, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'll be a good boy. I'll be a good boy from now on. <sighs> Man, I hate being put under pressure. I don't like it. Where's your car? Where's your car? Okay. Let's do this. Well, get in the car, my buddy. Get in the car, my friend. As you can tell, these cases get a lot longer, a lot more difficult. You hear about Reg? So, yeah. Now, keep going. Did I hear about what? Did I hear about what? Okay, what? Go ahead. I had to get that uh, hot, dog, hot dog vendor off the street. Are we having a conversation, please? Okay, fuck it. Forget it. I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. The new housing development is a couple of weeks from completion. Burnt to the ground last night. The guys are ready to move in this weekend. The is going to have some very angry customers. Shame about Chad. The RC desk is trying to get that set for for years. He's still in custody, Herschel. Want to bet? Bella kicked the moose already. And home for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Anita in the vicinity is citizen reports of 459 there now at 38 North Catalina. You're the damn go to identify. We'll just drive through. Our 11K responding. Take it easy, fellas. I'd rather get there than one now. At 38 North Catalina Street. Okay, fine. We'll go the regular way. I just wanted to like get a little intimate with that tree right there. Is that okay? Is that okay? Okay. Alrighty, we'll go around this way. Get out of the way, lady. Maybe those metal things in front of you car. Whatever. Hot property. What are you trying to do, buddy? Cops! Shit! Stop! Yeah. LAPD! You're absolutely right. Hey, get back in the car! Get back in the car, Phelps! Get back in the car. Now run. Oh, it's a big old truck. Of course we're gonna get him. Although these chase scenes have been getting a little bit more difficult lately. Sometimes they stand his ass cold. Don't lose Sometimes it. they start the uh, siren at the beginning, and sometimes they don't. I don't know. And it's just, the, of a rear wheel. the siren does really help when you're chasing because people like get out of your way and stuff. Whoa! Where's that guy think he's going? Take this guy out. Dude, he, do you see how he's driving? I don't even understand my life right now. Step on it, Emma. Get me just a little closer. All right. Well, at least you shoot, unlike Roy, who does nothing. I mean, I like you a little bit better than Roy. Big sorry. God, look at this guy. Look at this guy go. What's up? I need to hey, apprehend you now. They'll take one look at me and. They'll take one look at you and. and wanna do things to your butt? Nah, uh, whatever. It'll, you'll be fine, maybe. I don't know. Might have to go to a hospital later. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. That's what you get for breaking and entering, you big doof head. Eh. Alright. Now let's go ahead and. Actually, take care of the case at hand. I actually kind of like this case. It's a long one, but it's a goodie. It's a longie, but it's a goodie. Woo! Nah, I don't feel like getting that hot dog vendor. I'll get him later. Or that one. Man, now they've started to repopulate again. Or that one! They've started to repopulate, now I gotta take care of them. You know, we can't just have them, you know, nastying up the streets of LA. They're. They're bold attempts to sell leaners to anyone who just decides to walk up to them. Nope, we can't have that. Oh boy, I'm missing a lot of them. There's like five of them in a row there. Good lord. Like seriously, I've never realized how many hot- Oh, I almost- Oh, I almost got them. make a claim to the department. Um, I've never realized how many hot dog vendors there are in this game. Like, I knew there were a lot, but like, there are quite a few. Alright. Let's do this. A fire truck! I had experience driving a fire truck. Oh my. That is not good. Not good. 
the doll. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. No, no. Suburban redevelopment bond! I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That was a big no-no. What's up? You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Oh boy, what are you about to show me? Ay. <sighs> you have a name. Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Ouch. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Oh my god. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Yeah, no Ooh. kidding. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? Yes, yeah, seriously. I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? To move the guys. Oh my god, that's weird. What is this? What the heck? What are you doing? Prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Oh my lord. There is everything is wrong about this. Everything. I am so sorry. <laughs> we gotta get out of this room. Just give me the heebles. Alright. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. What is this? Oh, it doesn't look like much. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's it a hairbrush. Be connected. Or a mirror or something. That's a bed. I'm glad I can uh, make simple connections. Wow, that is just wrong. On so many levels. Those used to be people. Those, well, I guess they still are people, but... Yeah, I just ain't right. I uh, cannot get that way. Ooh, oh, what is this? Oh, here's a picture of the family. You ever think about how many people have died in this world, and how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. Well, sorry, I was sorry. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? Got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fire? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. Hmm. He's trying to redeem himself. Probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. <laughs> I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. You could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Paul, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Oh, oh no! Evidence? 